Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Kesari is one of those sweets which can be easily made yet it tastes so good. Today I'm going to show you an exotic Kesari recipe. We're going to make jackfruit Kesari using fresh jackfruit arils. Let's get started and check it out. For the jackfruit Kesari, I have taken a large piece of fresh jackfruit here. We get nice juicy and plumpy jackfruit during its peak seasons. So it's ideal to make this when you find fresh fruits like this. I'm going to separate the jackfruit arils from this fruit, wash all of them nicely and then keep them aside. I won't be needing the seeds inside these arils. I'm just extracting the seeds and keeping the pulp alone for the sweet. I'm using 15 arils here, but if you find bigger ones, just 12 arils is sufficient. You got to now chop the pulp into small pieces like this. Now add only half quantity from the chopped pulp to a mixer jar and grind it into a nice fine paste. You can keep this aside and move on to making the sweet. To a large kadai, add 1 tablespoon of ghee. And to this, add a few cashew nuts, roast them until they are golden brown color and keep them aside. To the same kadai, I'm adding a few raisins. Roast the raisins until they plump up and keep them aside. Now to the same kadai, I'm adding about half cup of suji rava, that is semolina and roasting it slightly. Keep the roasted rava aside and add another tablespoon of ghee to the kadai. To this, I'm adding the ground jackfruit arrel paste. I'm going to saute this in ghee for a while. Doing this enhances the flavor of the kesari. For making the kesari a little more interesting, I'm adding the leftover chopped pulp to this mixture. Mix it all well and add 2 cups of water. So when you eat the kesari, these small bits of jackfruit are very much enjoyable. For a nice flavour, I am adding 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder. Along with this, I am also adding about 1 tablespoon of saffron water. By adding saffron water to this, you won't need to add separate food colouring as saffron itself will take care of it. Add in the roasted rava and mix well. You have to mix it immediately to make sure no lumps are formed. Now only after the rava completely cooks, you should add about 1 cup of sugar. Otherwise, the rava would stop cooking any further after it mixes with the sugar. After the sugar has melted completely, I am adding another tablespoon of ghee. More the ghee, better the taste. So never hesitate adding lots of ghee to your sweets. Mix it all well and add the roasted nuts and raisins. And finally, I am adding another tablespoon of ghee for getting some nice glossy texture. Now you can see this is nicely done. At this point you can turn off the stove and serve it hot or you can also serve it at room temperature. So do not miss out on the freshly available jackfruit this season. Bring them home and prepare this exotic jackfruit kesari for any special occasion at your home. Like I said, the kesari is exotic and rich in flavor. And those of you who love jackfruit must try this recipe. I personally loved it. And it's best served nice and hot, or you can serve it at room temperature. So try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in